Jaka. <laughs> to the shapes and we decorate the children's playground with them. I am going again to the construction site and I'm carrying along new pieces of which the gates of the playground will be composed. Would you like to take a look at my very important cargo? Today in my cars there are three dimensional shapes. They are also called geometric solids. Let us memorize both names. Three D shapes have volume, that is, they take up space. Therefore, you cannot stack them one upon another as we did with the two D shapes. Let's take a closer look at the 3D shapes. I think everybody knows the name of this geometric solid. What is it called? That's right, it's a cube. We are familiar with this shape because we have all played with blocks. Now we'll put the cube on a sheet of paper and trace it. What do we get? That's right, it's a square. But we have to remember that a square is a 2D shape, while a cube is a 3D shape. Do you know this shape? It has a very difficult name, a rectangular prism. Let us say together, rectangular prism. It is also called a cuboid. Why rectangular? We'll see. Look, we have put our prism on a sheet of paper and we have traced it, and we've got a rectangle. 
If you put such a prism with any other face down, you get a rectangle too. What does a rectangular prism look like? Like a box. And just like boxes, rectangular prisms can be very different. Do you know the name of this shape? It's a pyramid! Do you recognize these pyramids? That's right, these are the Great Pyramids in Egypt. What do we see if we put a pyramid on a sheet of paper and trace its bottom? A square. This type of pyramid is called a square pyramid. Maybe there's a triangular pyramid? Here it is! Any polygon can be a bottom, or more precisely a base, of a pyramid. Then we will see a pentagonal, hexagonal, or octagonal pyramid. What if the base of a pyramid is not a polygon, but a circle? Then it is not a pyramid anymore. This shape is called a cone. Let's play a game. Can you find the cones among pyramids? Right, these shapes are cones. They can be distinguished also by their lateral area. A pyramid has edges, but the cone does not have them. But there is a similarity between these shapes. Both the cone and the pyramid have a base and an apex. Look, here too are cones and pyramids. Where do you see the pyramids? Right, these are the roofs of the houses. Look closely. Are all the roofs pyramid shaped? No, here are roofs that are other shapes. And where can you see the cones? It is true, on the towers of the castle. Are you familiar with this 3D shape? This is a cylinder. A cylinder has two bases and both are circles. Of course, everyone knows this geometric solid. This is a sphere. We can rotate it in any direction, but the sphere always looks the same. Does the sphere have angles? No. Look, the sphere can roll. Let's see what else I have in my cars. What an interesting 3D shape! What does it look like? 
like a donut. And also, like a ring of a ring stacker. And like a life preserver. It is called a Taurus. And here is another prism. Just like a cylinder, a prism has two bases. But please note that a cylinder's bases are circles, while the prism's bases are polygons. If the base of a prism is a triangle, it is called a triangular prism. A prism of a hexagon at its base is called a hexagonal prism. And so on. Well done, guys. You've learned some geometric solids. Now let's go and we'll try to look for geometric solids among familiar objects. Thank you.